update. She's starting to look like a boat again. Let's back it up. Decals on. I think they turned out pretty good. Got my bilge piped up. Um, gotta get some wiring done. I'm not. I don't have the switches back in yet. Uh, motors on. Bilge in. Switches are coming. Um, got the seats mounted with these quick detach got the lid put back down I was just tinkering around with um, this stuff found it all to zone used it on the edge of my lid just for some sound deadening it has some diff it had some other type on it all the way around but put some here I'm gonna do it there and on the back one also and since it feels like this hits the lid when you close it, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put some strips across there. I had a little piece left I put there just to try it, but it's deadened it a lot. You know, fish fish can hear way too much. Um, what else? What have I done? Yeah, the seat things they're really cool uh, i gotta replace the seats but i just figured for now i'll keep what i got um let's see how does this work uh, not a one-handed operation but Pop the seats right off. Uh, like it ain't nothing. Uh, it just it just clips right in. Solid, feels good. Ah, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, trailers in foul condition. I gotta get some new springs and stuff to get on it. Uh, I'm just mainly trying to get it water ready again oh let's see i got my replacement um replacement uh whatever that decal thing is called i was told i had to have it so i took the old one the old one was made of plastic honestly and it has just been painted over a million times and, uh, like it had melted in some places um see i got water in it, it rained earlier and I was testing out my drainage. Only downside, it's, it's the it's the the horrible thing about this boat. Um, let's see if I can show you. See that plug right there? So that's my drain plug. It comes through, protrudes through. I could have got a shallower one, but the the next shallowest one that I could find didn't come through enough. And I didn't want that. But anyway, um, that trough actually has to fill up before water will drain out. It's got this other drain going into the, uh, I guess the subfloor of the boat, which isn't very thick at all, but it's there. Um, I just don't like the fact that it can sit there and uh, all the water just run into that subfloor, so I plugged it off. Um, I didn't want to seal it when I was doing fiberglassing, so I plugged it off. Um, I forgot what this plug is called it's the type that if i forget to put it in it'll still seal it's got a little ball valve in it uh the motor is just kind of tap, tacked up there at the moment um got some got some figuring things out to do wiring wise um, i want to be able to those of you may follow anything else that i do my kayak battery for my trolling motor system there um, I want to be able to just open the lid, drop that in, connect it like I do the other. There's not a whole lot of amp draw on this motor, on that cable. So I think I'm going to do a uh, trolling motor quick connect there and then have the battery inside and just be able to plug right in, tap right into the battery.
quick quick disconnect everything um sitting in this seat i'm probably going to put some uh scotty mount uh, track mount whatever on that side and uh mount the fish finder and everything that i have on my kayak and there again be able to just take it on and off i don't know if, if you've watched any of the others up till now you may not have heard me say that um so there you go um it's sitting at a downhill <laughs> right now uh pointed down my driveway i don't know that's the best update i got transom was done mistakes were made it's not perfect uh, but it's solid um what i didn't account for is this spot right there <laughs> i made this a little too wide Had to actually crinkle it in some, so got some sealant to put right there. Bad, bad mistake, but not major, I guess, at the moment. Um, so I figured out, you know, based on my mistake, I need to space this out slightly uh, to completely, to not completely crunch that. But I fiberglassed the whole thing, so I'm not gonna redo that. So I cut that board pieced it in there um, I'll take it back off fiberglass over coat it and just make it part of the transom right there um, and honestly probably just reuse that 1 8 plate right there that I've got and just drill through and bolt the motor to the transom I don't know I'm in Texas right now so I don't know if people steal stuff a lot in the area that I'm in so I'm just not gonna take the chance um, so yeah really close look at the decals. I think they turned out pretty great. Pretty slick. Pretty modern looking, I think. To me it is anyway. Um, let's look online at some Evanry stickers. And man, I just couldn't couldn't push myself to pay that price. So I said, you know what, screw it. I had some vinyl. Um, figured this shape out. Just did kind of a backdrop. Um, I meant for this to be a little shorter. I messed up. I went ahead and cut it, but I ran out of stuff anyway. Went ahead and used it. Mistakes were made. I'd be right. I don't think it looks too shabby. Um, coated this. Uh, repainted the top of this. Uh, I've got this piece somewhere. I just haven't found it yet. Um, put some like bed liner type stuff. It's pretty hard and durable. This is like tractor paint. Uh, it's, the same. it's really hard enamel, just very much like what the boat enamel is. Um, I used a, what is that? I just picked it up today. Google Mate, 500 gallon per hour. I tested this thing earlier. Um, literally just, hit, I mean it rained too, but I, I put it in after it rained. I uh, put the water hose in here on full. I mean, that's a lot of water flowing, and um, it was able to overcome the hose. So I don't figure I'm gonna have too much more than that. It's a small boat. I don't. I didn't think I needed a thousand gallon per hour scenario. Um, so I got a switch panel. It's gonna go in here. Like I said, I'm gonna put a uh, a quick connect for the motor. And I say I am. I don't know. May or may not. But then I gotta wire my bilge also back around to that. Um, haven't quite figured that out yet. Also got to put a stern light and a bow, bow light. I'm gonna use one of those low profiles and honestly just gonna put it right here. Um, got some lights to put back inside uh, to connect to my switch panel. Got a few things to do. We're getting there. Um, I'm gonna keep it simple. Whatever I do, I'm going to keep it completely simple. It's not gonna be crazy. Um, I want this to be a simple boat, reliable boat. I want to keep it that way. Uh, it's not meant to go uh, what some people use their 14 footers for, but uh, this is strictly to just ease around some skinny water. Honestly, my pole anchor and everything off my kayak, all that's going to be on this. Um, more to come there. Let me get the boat back functional and then I'll start piecing those parts together. So, all right. Thanks for keeping up. Later. Hey guys, quick update. Working on wiring, trying out some uh, some channel. 
let you see what's happening. You see the wire coming coming through the bulkhead. Um, didn't want to try to rot out the styrofoam in there to run the wire in. So just did it that way. I think it looks pretty clean. The back's just uh, got it done to here, but I was just mocking this up so I'm not through. Um, but you get the idea. Out of the way. Um, I still have. I will still have the engine starter. Um, I'm gonna leave it separate um, so I can take the engine off easily. I don't want to run hard wiring, um, but I'm probably gonna put one heavy-duty trolling motor plug because this thing doesn't pull a lot of amps. It's a 15 horse motor. Probably gonna put a trolling motor plug on the end of this and put it there. One of those waterproof with a cap. That way I can plug and unplug the engine. Um, but yeah, you see, it's really clean. Everything's out of the way. Um, probably gonna plumb this over to here, get that really smooth and flush and clean. That way, uh, no wires get hung up in anything. I just want this to be a clean, everything out of the way. I can't stand things to get tangled up. Um, this is not even screwed in. Just got it mocked up right now, but I'm waiting on my bilge switch. Uh, right now, I just got it wired to the. It's a. Um, it's got a float built into it. Forgot what type that is, but you get the idea. But um, it's got this little tester spot. Stick your thumb just to make sure it's working. But it's also got a hard wire um, on-off switch. I don't. I don't have a build switch system, but I ordered one. It's on its way. So I'm gonna put all of that right in this area. I'm gonna try my best to put it all on the end, but I'm also gonna do a key switch um, with a starter relay and be able to lock this box. Um, I do wanna kinda keep it somewhat theft proof. You can't do it. If somebody wants to steal something, they're gonna, but I'm gonna try. Anyway, I wanna, at least they'll have to hotwire it, and uh, if they want to steal it and run it. So, anyway, I see. Yeah. So, build switch, key switch, pl um, trolling motor style plug on the end. That'll probably take up that entire rest of that space there. And I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna run a uh, anchor light for the rear run a bow light for the front and I will probably um, also run just a, a light here to protrude forward to light up this front area and probably we'll put one on the side of the box and maybe on the rear too if I've got room that way I can just flip a switch and light the whole deck up um, Thinking about putting a couple of red lights as well across here just to just for if I decide to fish at night. Not that I do that often, but hey, if I want to. It'd be cool, helps with night vision. I think that would be uh, pretty epic. I think that's all I would need. I got my kayak 35 amp hour battery in the box. Um, that's when I last ran it. That's all it needed, even with the lights and stuff. So it's coming along. I got the, uh, I think my last video, I made it this far, but um, I haven't screwed them on. I have these stainless steel hose clamps. I'm gonna wait till I get my wiring channel completely plumbed and where I want it to be. And then I will put the piping against the wall here. Um, the only major thing I've got left that I kind of want to do is um, I kind of want to put a small uh, water, water separator, you know, fuel filter type scenario possibly over here so I can run my fuel line up front um, anybody watches this I would definitely like some input does it sorry does it hurt anything if I have a fuel line long enough to put my tank in the front of the boat because um, that would greatly help performance when I'm by myself just curious I don't see many people doing that um, and it's like 
I don't know, that'd be like 10 feet of uh, fuel line. But definitely would like some input. At least that way, when I'm by myself, I can put my tank here, or I'm in front of me at least, and that'll help bring the bow down some. But yeah, tell me in the uh, comments, or in the, uh, yeah, wherever I post this. Let me know what you think. All right, that's enough update for now. Hopefully this weekend, I'll go drop it in the water. I've got all the stickers on. I think I shared that in the last video. Decal ready. It's, uh, it's still registered in Mississippi. <laughs> and I'm in Texas, but that's okay. Uh, but uh, I got all the paperwork. I got everything to, to get everything Texas-ish done. So that's all I like doing. All right, guys. Enough update for now. Later.